greetings blurbs. And this right here is something I've covered on LGR Oddware over on my main channel. And this is the Creative Labs 3DO Blaster Card. A full-on 3DO game console from the early 90s. It's on an ISA card. You plug it into your PC running Windows 3.1 and it allows you to run any of the 3DO console games. I'm just gonna load 3DO's, uh, the 3DO version of Wolfenstein 3D here. And uh, yeah, so anyway, when I did a video on this a while back, over in LGR, I wanted to uh, mention a couple things that I forgot to mention. <laughs> that is, um, well, first off, I, it's not that I didn't mention it, I guess it's just that some folks didn't quite understand what was going on here. People were like, uh, oh, it's like Bleem on a card, or um, like the Sega Saturn card for PC, the NVIDIA NV1, I've covered that as well. It's not like either of those. In fact, there's a bit of confusion, I guess, to what the NVIDIA NV1 does as well. That's not a Sega Saturn card. It just allows you to play some Sega Saturn PC ports with some Saturn-like hardware on a PC. And that's all that does. You know, you can plug Sega Saturn controllers into that card, but it's not going to let you play Sega Saturn games. Whereas this, this lets you play the entire 3DO library on your PC through this card that is effectively a 3DO console and like a creative video blaster capture card on one device. Anyway, see that video if you'd like to see much more information about it. But yeah, you can go into full screen and like, <laughs> you can play games with controllers, any 3DO controller. Let's have this Gold Star one going right now. Let's get past this gratuitous interplay introduction. And yeah, um, that's the first thing I wanted to mention is that maybe I didn't make that clear enough in the video. <laughs> this is not emulating anything. And it's not like the Sega thing that only lets you play PC ports of certain games from the Saturn. This is a straight up 3DO on a card, which is really quite unique. I mean, there are some other uh, devices that let you do some similar things on PCs. I've got some of those I will cover in the future, but yeah, this one is like, this is just nuts. It's still crazy to me. I've been playing with this a lot. I've still got this on loan. And um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a fascinating device, man. And this portable 3D is fantastic. And as opposed to Doom, which didn't quite get the attention it deserved, but you know, that was sort of a victim of circumstance. Uh, these, I mean, they were both programmed by the same person. Uh, Rebecca Heinemann was responsible for both this and the port of Doom on the 3DO, but obviously this is way better. So things happened that didn't allow for Doom to really get the, I don't know, the attention, the development that it really deserves. This, on the other hand, was based on the Mac port. So I guess there was already some groundwork laid there. I don't know. I don't remember the full, the full story of what happened between uh, Doom and this and the 3DO. Either way, this one came out on top. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's awesome. But this is not why we're here, even though it's just cool to see that this is running on Windows 3.1. <laughs> Real, real. It's running on a 3DO card that's under 3.1. So, uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention though is a little detail about how this thing works that I, I kind of glossed over in Oddware and I meant to show a little bit more of and I just kind of, I just slipped my mind. It was one of those things where like, ah, eh, the video's long enough. But then people started asking questions about it and I'm like, crap, I should have said something. <laughs> so here's the thing. The way that this works, ah, Nazis, kill them, kill them all. There we go. Are they gone? Good. So the way that this works is that there is an overlay that's going on and it effectively is passing through one signal to the other. So inside it's connected to the VGA card that's in there. And then the Windows or your PC side of things gets passed through the 3DO card. And the way that that works is by this kind of chroma keying thing. So you have these different colors. Right now it's keyed to green you can key it to all sorts of different things and it'll just make whatever color that is on screen transparent. Uh, and that's how I was able to do that thing with the, uh, <laughs> and the Oddware video where I had Road Rash going on top of Solitaire or really underneath Solitaire in a way. So yeah, you can do things like that. But what I didn't show was like, okay, what happens if you just, whoops, there goes my light. 
uh, ran out of battery. Screw that. Who cares? Uh, what happens if you unplug one card from the other, right? Because if it's just an overlay and you kind of kind of a capture card thing going here, well, here's what happens. There you go. <laughs> it is unplugged. And in fact, you can still see the mouse cursor from Windows 3.1 going there. Turn my brightness up. So yeah, check that out. I think it's kind of neat, right? Still got the menus coming up. <laughs> and you can like Alt F4 here. Windows is still going. It's still underneath there. You just can't see it because the path, the pass through is not connected. Uh, however, that is just the VGA pass-through part. There is another pass-through that goes on. Eh, not a pass-through, really. It's more of a straight-up connection inside. Um, the feature connector ribbon. And that goes in between the VGA card that's in the computer and the 3DO blaster. And so folks are wondering, like, what's that for, right? Like, if it's already doing the pass-through, why does it need this other thing, this Visa feature connector thing connected between the two? Well... I will show you. All right, so we got Windows going here. And if I unplug the card once again, the VGA side of things. Okay, so we have just the 3DO going here. What if I take another VGA signal and plug into the 3DO blaster now that the computer, the 486 here that's running this, is not doing anything? Well, I have uh, my Windows 98 PC right here. All right, got my light back on too. So yeah, let's plug in the VGA output of the Windows 98 PC into the VGA in on the 3DO Blaster, see what happens. And there you go. <laughs> it does not know what to do with it. It is just not synchronized whatsoever. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because that's not good. So in case you're wondering, well, maybe it's just a different setting between the two computers. Eh, I thought about that. And so uh, let me show you just a direct connection to the Windows 98 PC. Let me just unplug this. And uh, here is the, the settings that I have on Windows 98. And they are going to be identical or as close to it as they are on Windows 3.1. So 640 by 480, 256 colors at 60 hertz. That is, and that's exactly the same as what I have the Windows 3.1 PC set at. They're as close as possible as they can be to each other, but they're just not going to synchronize because of that internal connection not being there. And, you know, I've tried this in, like, DOS mode. I've tried another version of Windows as well. Um, tried, like, XP with a forced setting and NVIDIA control panel. That didn't work. It just straight up uh, doesn't work unless it's connected internally as well on the 3DO blaster. And that's just, you know, it's an interesting little feature. Literally, a feature connector. <laughs> That's what that is inside. So, uh, yeah, let me plug this back in here. All right, plug back in. So anyway, that's just a little, a quick little update there to um, my 3DO Oddware video. I suppose it's more of an addendum than an update. <laughs> it's not like this is new information, um, but maybe it is new to some of you. It was new to me, like I didn't know any of this before I started screwing around with a 3DO player and 3DO blaster and all this crazy awesome hardware and software uh, that is going back to its owner here sometime soon so that's unfortunate but I've just it's just still fun to screw around with this whole thing is just neat man uh, again check out my main video to see a little bit more of this yeah fascinating hardware thanks for watching <laughs>